Uh, hello guys today in this tutorial I will basically show you how we can uh, create PDF document and insert images and insert tables insert dynamic text in Python using a library called as report lab and we will be constructing this multi-page PDF document guys you will be inserting text images and also colorful tables as well so I will be showing you step by step how we can use this library guys and how to use this library in Python 3 and let's start building this application from scratch so just create a app.py file guys and uh, you need this library you need to install this by using this command pip pip install report lab this is the name of the library guys which is pip install report lab so simply install this library by invoking this command and after that we just need to create app.py and here first of all guys we just need to import all the things from report lab you will say from report lab dot lib dot page sizes we need to import letter and again from report lab dot lib we need to import colors and from report lab dot lib we need to lib dot styles we need to import our get sample style sheet so as you as you will write the code guys you will basically see which documents are required so first of all let me just write the main function we will have the main function here in python so and we will basically create a function which will actually create a pdf file so we will give it a file which is sample.jpg so we will insert this file in the PDF document so we are providing it as the argument so define create PDF function and we have got a file name which we need to insert so inside this function guys first of all we will actually create a new document we will create a doc variable and we will instantiate simple doc simple doc template and at the top guys we will basically import all these lines so simply write these lines I will not waste the time so you will see basically we have imported simple doc template and uh, this is used to basically create a file and here we will simply pass uh, the file template the file path so whatever name that you need to give to your PDF file so let me just give it as uh, output.pdf so this will be we will pass the file name here and then it takes the page size variable guys page size so we will give it a size of letter and then guys we will uh, have the content which will be empty array by default we will add some dynamic text inside this pdf document so now to add a title text we will say title style we will say get sample style sheet as we imported this get sample style sheet from report lab dot lib dot styles and inside this we will basically have our title we will have our title we will give like this and now we will say title we will have the paragraph we will insert this paragraph my pdf document we will pass the style which is title style and then we will add this using the append method which is available we will add this title and if you want to see guys how it looks we will basically call a method docu document.build method and we will pass the content that's all so if you refresh your application if you run this application a file will be created so you will see output.pdf file has been created and you will basically see this text this title will add here my pdf document so this title has been added guys now we will try to add an image we will now add the image image files so how we can do that guys it's very simple how to add image we will actually provide the image path it is available which is sample or jpg in the same directory and then we will say image we will use the image constructor and then we will provide the image path and the width of the image which will be 200 and the height 150 
and then guys will say content dot append image so if you refresh now guys again if you refresh now your image file will be added right here now you can see your image file has been added alongside with the text now we will try to add the table it's very simple library guys it allows you to do all sort of stuff with relatively ease now we will add the table so now to add the table guys we will allow the normal style variable and we will say get sample style sheet again we will call this method and we will now be using the normal style sheet and we will add some paragraph here paragraph we can have paragraphs variable so this will be an array of string guys so we will say this is a sample pdf document created using report lab in python So you can add some more text out there. Let me copy this and don't waste your time. So we refresh it and paste it here. You can see that. So we have three lines here. And now to if you want to add this inside your PDF document, we'll use a for loop for paragraph in paragraph. We will basically append this. So content append. We will say paragraph, paragraph, comma and then we will say normal style and then we will say content.append and then we will say spacer 1 12 and we will append the space here between the paragraphs so you can customize the spacing guys accordingly and if you refresh now again you need to re uh, run this application you will add this paragraph here. These three lines that we added, you will see that, guys. You can add as many dynamic text as you want here. And now we will actually add the table. How to add the table? It's very simple. We will actually add the table here. You can need to provide the data here for the table. So this data will be actually comprised of three columns, three rows. So this will be name, age, country and uh, we have four records out there, three records sorry. And this uh, table style guys, uh, you can have this table style, uh, let me paste this table style. Uh, so these styles are def defined for the particular table that you are building. You can customize this uh, table style variable accordingly. So after this define this variable table style so this will comprise of background text color alignment font name bottom memory background and grid you can all customize this accordingly if you want to and after that uh, let me paste it here you can all customize this gray color we are using so after this what we need to do for the table we will for loop cell for cell in a row for row in data. We will append this having the spacing. So you can provide the table widget. Style will be table style and column widths will be this one. So if you refresh now, run the application and refresh your PDF document. So now this nice little table will be added guys if you see from the data name, age, country. And you can customize all these values accordingly what you have put here. You can change the background color if you want to. You can change it to red color. Now the background will change to red color if you see. So you can customize everything guys in the table. In the PDF document you can customize all the things in the background text color. All these things. So this was a tutorial guys how to use this report lab library to generate uh, PDF documents, insert text images and tables. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video.